Cut in scale guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video, we're back again with more, obviously, Beyond Light hype. We have more weapons to review, more weapons to use, and today we're gonna be using the brand new Bone Chiller. Now, we did obviously use the uh, Confusion, Hate and Confusion yesterday. We said you got it from the main storyline, and today, yeah, you get this shotgun from the main storyline as well. Random rolls, though, again, random rolls. But the Bone Chiller is a slug shotgun. It seems like Bungie this season are trying to give us some good bone like some good slugs because we haven't had really good slugs at all we have this bone chiller though right now and we got the duality which is kind of a slug too but the great thing about this weapon is obviously it's new it has good high level and everything like that but the thing is it is the very first void slug shotgun in destiny 2 there's obviously you got your Gnora's axe for arc and stuff you got a solar one so you can even use duality for a solar one if you wanted to but bone chiller is going to be the first void one which will superly help out with turns of strikes whenever there's a burn but the bone chiller itself as i said has random rolls so you can see we have bone chiller here it actually looks pretty slick i don't know what it is these weapons that are from the campaign they just hit they, they just click with me i just really like them so yeah we obviously we just seeing what it looks like in terms of perks so if i have fluted barrel hammer forged i've got extended mag or i've got light mag we have surplus which is straight this is a brand new trait by the way in like obviously this season beyond light surplus increases handling reload speed and stability for each fully charged ability and last but not least we got slime Slideways again, sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability. Finally, I actually get slideways when it's useful. We also have a range masterwork, so I am maxing them a range. You can see on the screen now all the other types of rolls you could have got. So you will see a couple of new perks as well. So obviously we have our surplus. You can see there obviously is the dual barrel sort of reload thing. Basically it reloads two bullets at a time, but like half your reload speed. And you'll also have a new perk, one for all. Basically, if you hit your targets three times, so if you hit three, obviously, ads or whatever, you will do bonus damage with the weapon for a short time. But that is it for all the perks and stuff we have. We need to try this out, though, straight away. We need to go in some PvP. So without further ado, let's go in and try the Bone Chiller out. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the Endless Veil with the Bone Chiller. This is what it's going to look like. It actually looks pretty sweet. You can see uh, with the aim as well. Bungie literally gave us a weapon. They were like, here. He, he, have this. Go out and cop some cheeks and have this with actually like a decent aim. Now, I missed the first shot because I suck, but this guy right here, oh, he, he's gonna run. But yeah, they were literally just like, go out there and slap some necks and slap some cheeks because uh, you can aim with this thing so well. Oh my god, he's gonna die for me though. Thank you. Guy over here somewhere. Where Where is this guy? Oh my god, do I like I just got smoked back. Alright, this guy right here though. We're gonna miss the shot. And he's gonna die for me now. No, he's not. But I missed the shot again. But you know what? We'll get the kill. Six bullets. Alright, this is where we start doing it, guys. This is where we start going massive. And we start getting the headshots for days. I will say that with the if I had an opening shot or something. Oh, we absolutely just destroyed him. Oh, mama. We just destroyed two of them. Screw the two of you. But if we had an opening shot, I feel like I'd be... A bit more consistent my accuracy oh my god what is this bro he just walled me in in the freaking that's my teammates because it's not red i just got walled in by my own teammate to freaking die now we're gonna do this fine come on someone's gonna come okay there's a guy right here oh okay oh we hit him i i just i gotta get close-ish oh, come on someone peek someone peek someone do it someone freaking peek me come on here we go here we go and we missed so we're gonna melee and there is lag. I mean, he was literally dead in front of my screen. I finished my animation and then I died. Oh, man. We, we shouldn't have missed so. Right? Even if you hit them once, that's the thing. If you get a body shot with this sort of slug, it will do so much damage that a melee kill will literally just kill them. So I shouldn't probably miss that much, but there's the headshot or body shot. And then I get the kill with the melee. Honestly, with the current scene as well. Slugs are actually not bad. Oh, my God. There's two people here. Huh. Huh. Just get the no scopes. We don't need no aiming. We don't need no headshots. Where we're going, we are going for frags. Huh. Oh, we need a dip. We need a dip. And I died from a uh, revolver freaking 100 miles away. A slug shot enthusiast. And this guy didn't get hit at all. But give me this melee so I can freaking heal myself because I suck donkey dong. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, bro. Huh. There's the headshot. No, uh, headshot midair. He is mad. I, uh, bro, get out of my way trying to survive here all right we're gonna super dope though this is chaotic this is so good because there's just people everywhere hey bro just die for me thank you i honestly the other thing is that i have no idea what people's like subclasses are doing right now so when i come up against the stasis i legit have zero idea of what it's doing okay just go oh i just wasted a bullet but yeah the thing is slow shotguns they are good i think but people are always gonna fall short in terms of how to use them and stuff oh my god can this guy does not lag please Oh my, 
thank you. There we go, finally get the kill. But yeah, the thing is that people are going to use, obviously, your mind meta and stuff. Just because they're so much easier to use than any other gun. Then why would you bother using the uh, slug shotty? Because this requires accuracy. You know what? It requires at least 1% skill. Not 100%. Just at least 1. Okay, this guy is weak. Hey, bro, you want to just die for me? Thank you. I knew he was weak. So you can body. Honestly, this is actually really good for body and stuff. But yeah, it's just that when it comes to weapons in terms of the shotguns and stuff like that, People are always going to default to their mind benders, and that is a true tenor. Are you serious? I thought it was meant on top, and I was about to go, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't bring back the freaking nightmares, but okay, it was a true tenor. I'll concede that one because you did freaking nail me with the thing, but okay, I missed. And I missed. No, I didn't miss, but. <laughs> Man, the server is this week or whatever since yesterday. Mm, they are taking a beating. Honestly, it's like some guy just like pull a blanket over the head and it's just going to freaking town on the dude. Screw you, buddy. I'll shotgun you straight in the head. It doesn't affect me too much. You can kind of tell he was lagging and stuff. So when you hit a shot, I just know sometimes I hit a headshot. Oh my god, he didn't come at me. But oh my, oh my god, I'm so dead. Freaking stasis, guys. I have to get used to it. I have no idea sometimes. It's on such an awkward button to break free as well. It's my C. Who the hell pressed this C? Oh my god, that is a freaking black talon. Come on, bro. Bait the shot. Bait the shot. Okay, he's right there. Oh, bait the shot. Okay, my teammate Don't took it for me. <laughs> uh, we need to run at this guy. Huh. No. Oh. 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 oh, we got him. Screw you. We are just outplaying the crap out of each other there. But you know what? He comes out on top. Big old Nexus, huh? With this dual shotty or whatever it's called. Okay, I think that guy is the one who's lagging. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Huh. Okay, that guy's not lagging, but I just suck. And I'm in their spawn. That was such a bad place to be. <laughs> oh, this guy right here. Hey, buddy, you want to just die for me? I know you got a blinding grenade. Oh, I took tree damage. Tree freaking damage. Okay, your teammate is baiting the hell out of you. I get that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I was blind and I still got four people. Oh, that guy's weak. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, 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 we took a super out. We took the super out of it. Oh, we, we're so good at this game. Like, oh my god. We, I, this guy, like, leave me a freaking loan. Oh my, I missed two shots. Guys, everyone, just leave me. And then I get freaking slugged from the back. Oh my god. Leave me alone and just let me try miss in peace and be an absolute scrub in peace. Oh, that is the W though. Oh, that's a shotgun or a, a super. Oh, dip, 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 dip. Nope, I died. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are going to be in uh, Gambit, of course. We're doing our PvE side of this, and oh my god, holy FPS drop. My god, okay, my game. <laughs> Gambit, as I know, a lot of people are having a few problems. Yes, sometimes it's a bit laggy at the moment. I, I'm telling you, the servers are really unstable right now, but we are going to be going in with our Void. Oh, what a perfect time to have Void, huh? When there's Void enemies. No better time, but yeah, we're running in with, uh, obviously, our Bone Chiller. I will say, on a, in PvE, it was pretty nice. As I said, this is... Slugs in general are actually pretty good. They require skill. Top tier. When something requires skill, I really like that when it's a special weapon. But this weapon itself actually does stick to heads pretty much. Like, pretty well. I mean, honestly, I was hitting headshots for like a few shots where I was like, oh, that was pretty sweet. I will say, though, is that you're still generally... You're going to have your same problems. Uh, that um, slug, slug shotties are going to just get outshined by their counterparts because... The counterparts are so easy to freaking use, and until they uncap the, like, obviously, range of the slug shotty, you're gonna have a bad time. You're just never gonna really see slugs being used or meta or whatever, but the slugs in general, like, if you got some guy who's good with them, who do you absolutely wreck as? Now, we're gonna slug this guy, but you can see in PvE, they did, oh my god, already he just <laughs> dodges me like that, but in PvE, they did get a buff, like, relatively recently, actually, where... They do a lot more damage for precision hits. This one actually does come with that triple threat or whatever that perk was. The yeah, alpha one, that's what it's called. It comes with that perk, which also lets you obviously hit the boss like three times basically. And then you'll do bonus damage for no few shots, which is pretty freaking insane. If you stack that on top of like a well, or obviously if you stay stacked on top of weapons, you'll do an absolute ton of damage. But as I said, this is a void weapon. It's the first void slug. So if void or slugs do actually become a thing, like get buffed or whatever and upcoming sandbox changes or whatever like that then this could be really one that we have to try look out for i know everyone's gonna get it through the story i just what i'm saying is i would not dismantle this and i'm dead but i wouldn't dismantle this straight away if you dismantle this straight away you might be kind of 
fooling yourself or doing yourself in because honestly boy our silk shotguns could become really good and then uh, yeah you'll have people using all of this and you'll be like i don't have a void one and then you have arc burns that need void and you won't be able to use it and i'll have a bad time it'll be a real bad time all right we're just gonna try burn the boss out and stuff so you see on the boss and stuff like that i mean he's just not taking headshot damage what there we go look at that 4k damage 4k and we'll like obviously we'll hit this guy and his shield is gone there's a one shot in that guy and there's a one shot in that guy honestly slugs against yellow bars they do really good damage and as i said with this we'll obviously surplus and stuff i've got sideways on too and i just got punted to the next century all right let's just finish this off super fast there we go and there we go but you'll see like it's just slugs are really good as i said they are such good weapons the only fallback is just currently Obviously, normal shotguns kind of destroy them sometimes. My sound is completely glitched, by the way, so it sounds super ominous and stuff. But yeah, there is uh, the Gambit game done. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the fortress with our bone chiller, of course. I am using controller right now, and so, oh god, that guy's lagging a bit. But yeah, we're going in with a slug again. Honestly, I did like it uh, PvP wise in terms of the first map. I think P uh, Gambit and PvE, though, it's probably where its best bet is going to be. It's, even though shotguns and stuff, other shotguns are good. After the buff that these sort of got. It is a good idea to start using them and definitely keep one just in case Sugs actually do become good because as I said, it's like the only void one. Oh my god, okay, we need to kill this guy. Thank you. Oh, there's a guy right here though. Give me my slideways. Oh, oh no, bro. No, that's a duality. I, s I knew that guy had the duality beside me, but I was trying to get his teammate first. God dang it, I missed. Yeah, I am just kind of slow right now on controller. What I will say about the weapon is though, is that when it comes down to it in terms of obviously kills and everything, it can actually get them pretty well. I will think though, obviously, when it comes to uh, sniper or when it comes to the slugs in general, they kind of just fall short when it comes to other shotguns. And it's always going to be the case. I'm not disputing that. I know it's going to be the case that slug shotguns are always going to get outshine. Oh, headshot, bruh. Come on, this guy knows I'm weak. Oh, bruh. No. Oh, headshot, bruh. Oh my god, that is when I, well, that's when it's super good. But the thing is, obviously, if I had mind benders there, I just literally just W key and just like run as well. Controller and lag up, if that's what you want to call it. This guy is 100 miles away with a freaking miner. I need to get this guy weak, so if he actually does rush me, he'll think twice because he will die. Oh, we'll get this guy. I hit a body. Bruh, bruh, I bodied him and you didn't get one of them. Okay, he killed one. I don't know, did I get the assist for it? I'm wasting basically a perk at the same time. Now that is stasis. Oh my god. Oh. No way, bro. Got your back, Jack. Okay, we need... Oh, no, no, no. Sideways. Come on. Uh, did, did this guy die? Okay, they traded. I was going to say, did that guy die? Because it's legit. There is a bit of lag sometimes, though. So I have no idea when people die or not. Oh, there's going to be two guys coming down here, though. There's going to be close. Oh, my God. He's right beside me. Oh. Oh. No, bro. Bro, you don't even try. If I died there, I would have been so mad. And that is a guy with a something that is tracking me oh it's that thing honestly look at the bubbles look at the two bubbles that are just sitting there that's the new hunter stasis grenade i have honestly when that happens okay we just died off spawn honestly though when the people start using their stasis abilities and everything i legit have zero idea what's going on because i haven't come up against him enough oh that's a golden gun oh he's close he's close come on come on bro come on bro i can do this i can do this huh huh Oh, we headshot him, but he was out of his golden gun, so it doesn't really—it doesn't really make it as much of a hero thing anymore. Oh, and I just died. All right, we got a super now. We're gonna try to go in. There's a bunch of people on B, right? Oh my god, they're all—they're all gonna literally clear as soon as I do this, right? Yep, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid they would all just run away. Oh my god, can it? I was gonna say this guy actually killed me or something. He ran away so far that he actually got away. I didn't think he'd get away that fast. Come on, come on, bro. Okay, I got a headshot. Did I? No, I didn't. What? Ooh. What is going on? I do not know. If I get the kill like an hour later, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, man, I'm doing so bad, though. I will think slow shotguns on controller, they require so much accuracy, and I do not have the speed for it. Oh, my God. We're going to... Oh, he's 1 HP. I'm legit doing so bad, though. We'll get a headshot in that guy, and then I missed the shot because I hit the wall. Like, it's... I don't know. I just... I don't think slugging maybe on console is it, Chief. I mean, maybe I just suck. You can, you can admit that. I just suck sometimes. But I honestly think it's mainly to do with just speed. Obviously, handling and stuff. Maybe my sensitivity is way too low for this sort of thing. But we just got absolutely destroyed. Uh, and we're going to try a headshot this guy. Thank you. I mean, I just think controller, maybe it isn't it. I know it was a quick game and everything. We probably only got like... 15 to 16 kills but i can already sort of tell unless you're absolutely cracked to on controller like we only got 11 kills unless you're absolutely cracked you're not gonna get much out of a slug on console 
Well, that's it from me and the Bone Chiller Shotgun Slug. Honestly, I think it's a good slug. I think that it has actually a bit of stickiness. I think with opening shot, though, overall in PC PvP, it'll definitely be better. I think the slideways, it helps a bit, obviously with extra handling stability, but the opening shot just makes a bit more consistent. You start hitting shots you never thought you'd hit before. And I think Bone Chiller overall, though, is, is a good slug. There is, I think, obviously, I have better rolls in terms of, I got better rolls on my, like, Ganora's Axe and stuff. But this, obviously, is going to be power leveled. It has Surplus, which is a pretty sweet perk. It's got auto-loading if you want it, maybe even firmly planted and stuff. Whatever you're going to choose. I think, though, the Bone Chiller itself, it's probably just worth keeping in general just because it's a void weapon. And it does come with Threat Detector 2 or Opening Shot, so you can get a God Roll pretty quickly with this. I just think overall, though, in terms of just the weapon itself, Slugs, I know Bungie are really trying to, they're really trying to push Slugs in us. We got an Exotic already, we got this Bone Chiller, they're really trying to give us Slug Shotguns and make us use them. But there is legit zero reason. Zero reason I'd be like I choose my bone chiller over my fell winters because the fell winters is so consistent I don't even have to freaking aim I mean the thing is even on cut like you see it on controller This is so much harder to use a controller especially because there is aim assist on controller But the thing is you're aiming at his body and you try to flick to his head. It's so sticky It's so hard to flick up. You're so slow It's way too hard to be precision like obviously on console and stuff with these at that point when I'm that close or whatever why wouldn't I just, you know, shoot them with a fell winter and just body shot them? And I'd pretty much guarantee myself a kill every time. The only consistency this has is that once you hit a headshot, you're more than likely going to get a kill. But regardless, if you like the video, just like, and you want to see more content, subscribe, fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.